is Thursday, June 25th of 2020, Thursday afternoon, and you are watching and or listening to Guy's Daily Drive. Yes, you are. Good afternoon. Welcome to Guy's Daily Drive, where I just expound on things, whether I know really anything about it at all, while driving in my car. Does that make sense? So, this year, I'm going to turn 60, 60 years old in September. And this is a milestone in many ways because for most of human history, most people did not live to be this old. Most people died much younger than this. And even today, there are many places where people either don't live to be this age or they're in very ill health. And I'm talking about the general population, not just isolated incidents of the population. And all things considered, I'm in pretty good shape. I don't have too much to complain about. I stopped smoking a couple of years ago, so my lung capacity is I'm guessing is greater than it's been in the decades that I was still smoking. And when when I look back on the things that I have done or said in my life, while I have made certainly more than my fair share of mistakes, it hasn't been all, it hasn't been all bad. As a matter of fact, most of it has been pretty good. And I've been extremely lucky. I found a job that took me all over the world. So I spent six years seeing how the rest of the world lived, most of the rest of the world. And it was, uh, it was a bit of an eye-opening experience. And it made me appreciate the kind of life, not, that, not necessarily that I have. That's, that's not the point. The point isn't to be grateful for the life you have, because maybe your life hasn't been that great. The point is to be grateful for the life that you had the opportunity to have. A lot of people don't understand what the rest of the world is like. They may think they do through the internet but they really don't. And that's, that's a shame. I would recommend that a lot of young people, you know, yeah, I, I didn't necessarily want to go in this direction, but one of the things that my son did when he was active in church and he hasn't been for a long time. As a matter of fact, he's pretty much an atheist now, and that's his decision. That's fine. I, I don't argue theology with him. I don't argue religion with him, or try not to. He'll sometimes try to bring it up because sometimes he likes to argue with me. I don't know why. I certainly don't enjoy arguing with him. 
whether he's right or not. But one of the things that he did while he was active in church was go on these mission trips to less fortunate areas of the United States and they would do light construction, serve meals, help out in communities that um, weren't as well off as we have it here in Northern Virginia. Now, everything is everything is relative. Northern Virginia is a relatively affluent suburb of Washington, D.C. And for the most part, the people that live here live as good or better than anyone else in the country. It's, it's not a bad area to be. Though I have to admit, I am looking forward to leaving. Frankly, just a little tired of this area. And I wouldn't mind some new frontiers. And we'll see how that works out as time goes on and I get closer to retirement age. Now, Tracy, of course, is already retired, so I guess we're all just waiting on me at this point. I guess the moral of the story is to be grateful for what you have because it could be a lot worse. Another cheery guy's daily drive. If you would like to contact me and tell me your life story or whatever it is you want to tell me, guy at mymac.com. If you would like to reach out to me, I am also on the Twitters. Twitter.com forward slash MacParrot, Twitter.com forward slash for chart. You can find all of the things that I do. They're pretty much all available over at birdshark.com with the exception of the mymac.com podcast Gazmas. the original version of that podcast is only available through mymac.com and that includes the after show with Gaz and I do uh, the version that you'll find at vertshark is basically just the video or the audio of just the podcast so if you want everything you've got to go over to mymac.com and get it from there or you can you know go to the podcast catcher of your choice and subscribe to my mac the my mac podcast you can also go do the same thing and subscribe to guys daily drive where i have all of the audio from guys daily drive the aforementioned somewhat abbreviated my mac.com podcast as well as the mac to the future live cast that i do on wednesday nights with warren sklar and david ginsburg and, you know, it's weird. I was actually going to talk about Apple stuff today and just didn't do it. Maybe I'm a little tired of it after all the excitement of the last few days. I'll probably get, I'll get back to that soon. I'm actually looking at, at installing some of the betas on, on some of the hardware that I have just to try it out. We'll see. Uh, what else? If you are a fan, you can help support me in my never-ending quest to own every single type of microphone that is in existence today. Patreon.com forward slash MacParrot. Coffee, K-O-F-I.com forward slash MacParrot. As well as PayPal.me forward slash MacParrot. What a shocker that is. So that is going to do it, I think, for this afternoon. Thank you all so very, very much. If you have joined me live or if you have joined me pre-recorded in all the various ways that this will be made available, 
I really do appreciate the fact that you have taken the time to download and listen to Guy's Daily Drive or, or any of the other things I do. And if you watch this on Facebook, remember, you can always like, share, subscribe. And just in case you missed that the first time, it's like, share, subscribe over there on the YouTubes. So I will see you all very soon. Maybe I'll record something tomorrow morning a little more lighthearted. Boy, what a Debbie Downer I've been today. A real friggin' Karen Downer. We will see you all next time right here on Guy's Daily Drive. Thanks for joining me.